With me to talk more about the results of this survey is Franklin Leonard. He's a film executive and founder and CEO of The Blacklist. Now, Franklin, I know you used to work for McKinsey. Now you run The Blacklist, which is looking to democratize writers' access to the industry. I understand that you reached out to McKinsey to get the survey started. What were you looking to do, and how did this all come about? Yeah, um, so last uh, June, in the wake of the murder of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor, um, McKinsey announced a $200 million commitment in pro bono work specifically focused on, on racial equity uh, and racial economic equity beyond that. And so I reached back to some of my former colleagues and said that if you're interested in studying racial inequity, one place that you can do it is Hollywood, especially because not only does that economic inequity exist within the industry, um, you know, we, as a matter of our business, uh, then, you know, export and amplify stories around the world that also then has material effects on the lived lives of black people and people all around the world uh, that, amp that further amplifies that inequity. Um, they saw the opportunity there as well. And the basic ask was, what is the lay of the land? You guys are a company that you know, organizations and Fortune 100 companies turn to to solve your business problems. Um, help us understand uh, what the reality here is and how we can create some solutions. So, so Franklin, tell us what some of those recommended solutions are. Yeah, um, well, the, the, the headline here is that the solutions that, that will be necessary will need to be bolder and more industry-wide, not only than the industry is doing right now, but more so than in literally any other sector. You know, Hollywood is very unique or unique in the fact that it has a highly interconnected value chain, um, entrenched roles of agencies and unions, the contract nature of work, and, and workplaces that are largely defined around projects that are outside of normal HR and other institutional structures. So not only do does every company need to be focused on addressing these problems within their own purview, but there likely needs to be some sort of independent organization that is specifically dedicated to addressing these issues so that the industry as a whole can claim this, you know, really extraordinary $10 billion annually financial windfall. I would also add that is only the windfall that is available specifically focused on the underrepresentation and under support of black creatives. Mm. If you add to that the other represented communities, it's actually significantly larger than $10 billion. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, in, a, in an in independent organization to address that seems like a wise uh, choice uh, for the industry uh, as, as an entire um, enterprise. Franklin, let's talk about that, the, the power structure behind this, because it, it's funny, in 2021, it, it's a year where media-related chatter has been influenced to a large degree by Oprah's Meghan and Harry interview, right? Shondaland's Bridgerton, uh, Isaac, Lee Isaac Chung's Minari, right? Like, it, mm -hmm. it looks on the surface like there's a lot going on as far as representation, but behind the scenes... Who's really got power? Who consistently gets a chance taken on them? It's a bit of a different story still? Uh, it's a completely different story, and McKinsey's work uh, sort of further confirms that. You know, look, those of us who've been working in the industry, I've been working in the industry for 18 years now, this isn't exactly news. I think that, you know, the specifics of the number may be, um, but the reality is not. Um, you know, Julia already pointed out the fact that the industry, the upper echelons of the industry power structure are less diverse than literally every other sector in the country. Um, and, and I would also add less diverse than the Donald Trump administration was. Um, and so I think that, you know, what, what, what it seems to be may not necessarily be what it is. And the consequences that, of that are the industry as a whole is losing a rather remarkable amount of money that we could be claiming. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.